Yes, sir! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Listen, man, look, 2K, for the love of God, please stop nerfing stuff, man. Look, this, this is what I'm trying to tell people. I hear a lot of people saying that the game is an RPG. You, you can't be more wrong. The game is more like a MOBA than anything. In RPG, in most of them, you can become everything. You can do everything. You can become the end-all, be-all. Like, uh, what the fuck is that shit? Um, Mass Effect. I, I don't know. Mass Effect, all them other games. Yes, it, it ain't nothing like that shit. It's more like a MOBA where everybody chooses a role, and then you're stuck in that role to do what you want to do. Case in point, look, look, look at stuff like Dota, League of Legends, and, um, and uh, what, what the fuck is the other game? Smite. And uh, Heroes of the Storm. It's more like that. You choose a role, and what you're what you're supposed to do is what you're supposed to do. Please don't kill me about the RPG, because I know you're gonna have 1,900 people in the fucking in the fucking comments talking about it's an RPG that does this and this RPG, man. Fuck that, man. I'm talking about Paper Mario RPG or Super Mario. I don't give a fuck. What I'm trying to say is the game is more like a MOBA, and the reason that uh trades up. Splash down. The reason that, that Nunu can do that, or the, or the reason that sharpshooters are getting buckets, is because in the mobile genre you got different, you got different uh, roles that you gotta play. So you got the AD carry, you got your, um, you got the AP carry, whatever you want to call it. You got your carries, really, and then you got, uh, you got your support, and then you got your bruises, you got your tanks and shit like that. And look at me, somebody saying some dumb shit about people don't even take tools. Everybody just dunk a layup. I take tools. The reason that people show videos of them going to fuck off. It's because it's a YouTube video. It's a fucking highlight video. Nobody want to see me take mid-range twos the whole time. They want to see me throwing that bitch up from as far as I can, splashing threes. They want to hear me say, trades up, splash down. They want to see that shit. They don't want to see me taking uh, uh, head faking and going to the uh, rim like that. Right! They don't want to see me going to the rim and making layups and uh, just outsmarting my opponent, getting 15 rebounds in the game. Like, nobody don't want to see that shit. It's a highlight video. So I think 2K need to take that into account that these are highlight videos. You look at somebody like Agent Zero or D-Man that's scoring 60 some odd points or whatever. Like I said, they the carries. You're supposed to be able to hit shots. You are the carry. You got your tanks, which are your big man. You got your post scores, more like a bruiser. You got your, uh, you got your, um, your uh, playmaker. That's like your support or whatever. They can't get these buckets if people aren't setting them up for them. Like, that team has to be dedicated to to getting them the ball and letting them get buckets. You seen it at the end of one of Asian videos where his homeboy was like, look at me shoot that bad shot. That's a bad shot. It was contested. I missed the motherfucker. But you, should, you seen the video where Agent was like, look, uh, at the end of the video, there was like, yo, your, uh, he was like, you'll just conserve your energy. That lets you know that they were dedicated to allowing him to do that. But at the same time, they done play about 40, 50, 60 games of uh, Pro-Am. And only four or five videos have they gone to fuck off. That should tell you something. The shit ain't overpowered. The right! shit ain't overpowered. It's balanced. And I'm just showing you, like, like I said, this is a different side of my uh, sm this is, uh, my small four right here. Like the stuff don't need to be patched. You gotta let people figure stuff out by itself. They should be looking at other stuff like why you can't play defense in this fucking game. Why when you press L trigger, you you just go to fuck flying or something like that. Why if you had relentless finisher and you were a slasher, you couldn't make no you couldn't make shots at all. Like I mean make layups at all. Stuff like that, man. Like look at stuff like that that's really wrong with the game. Right? Don't look at something that you designed to be, something that you designed is working or is working too well. Yeah, cut down limitless range. Yes, cut down the number of, of covered shots made. But come on, man, you're supposed to be able to make wide open shots. How else can you, like, look at this, like, how else am I supposed to trade up, smash down? How else am I supposed to punish that? He doesn't play defense at all, and he's supposed to be able to get away with not playing defense. If you take that away from me, then what do I have? What does a sharpshooter have? I'm not exploiting the game. This man just refused to play defense on me, and because of that, I jade his ass up. Like right there, I didn't make no, you know what I'm saying? I didn't I didn't play defense on him. He got a bucket. He dunked the ball. Should he miss wide open fucking dunks? His slashers going to start missing wide open fucking dunks just off a chance? You're not leaving it up to the skill of the person like, you got to leave things out. And right here, I could have shot a three, but look, I sat there, waited till I waited till I was settled again, and I shot a two a two point jump shot. Like I said, what are we gonna do? Just say, hey, we just gonna leave the game to randomness. Why do you think League of Legends took out Dodge Chance in the game? Because they didn't. They wanted it to be up to the skill of the players. They didn't want it to be just random shit taking taking advantage. If I can hit this shot every time, trades up. Splash down. If I can hit that every time with 100% consistency, I should be able to do it. It shouldn't be no nothing in the game making me go down to a, a 40 or 50% 
uh, shot chance. If it's a good shot, it's a good shot. If I can hit it, I can hit it. Like I said, man, look, I play my role, but I know that I can play outside of my role because I'm smart enough to play the game. If I'm smart enough to get open, if my teammates want to get me open, I shouldn't. it shouldn't be left up to chance. It should be left up to my skill level. Just like if somebody going to set a screen, as much as I hate this shit, don't get me as much as I fucking hate shot creators and those screens that people set for them. If their teammates are setting screens for them and getting them open and they coming off the shot, I mean, coming off the uh, dribble, off the pick and they hitting fadeaways, hey, it just is what it is. We just going to have to figure out a way to play that better. But, I mean, what are we doing that's not basketball? Is this even basketball anymore? I don't know. Like, like what do you want people to do? We, we, like, I don't get it. You're listening to people that don't play the game, that don't that don't play real basketball, don't know shit about real basketball. They don't play your game. They don't play all the modes. And you, and then you like we making decisions based on a couple of uh, highlight videos. Like really? Like the D-Man video is a highlight video. Like you said, he played 40, 50 games in pro and probably almost 100 by now. He put up four or five videos where he go off out of out of 60 or 70. That's like that's 10 percent. Like what the fuck? AZ put up two or three, four, five games where he go off. Out of out of however many he done played. These are highlight games. It's not the fucking norm, okay? But nobody wants to see the regular normal game. Okay, matter of fact, I'm gonna put up my normal Pro Am game and we're gonna see if anybody wants to see me dominate the game in Pro Am from the big man spot, using my small forward, playing a fucking power forward. I'm getting 14 rebounds, 14, uh, 14 buckets, shooting like eight or nine, eight or ten shooting, and then uh and getting like four, five assists. Nobody don't want to see that shit. We want to see the scoreboard light up. So that's all I'm saying, man. Don't take highlight games as the norm. These YouTube games are highlight games. They don't need, you don't need to nerf anything. You don't need to do anything. Let people adapt to the game. And once we adapt to the game, let's see where it goes from there. Stop listening to people complaining. Work out all the bugs. Work on shit like what people can't, can't take people to the park with them and shit like that. You know what I mean? Like the, the, the stuff that really matters. The, the reason that people getting shit on and walk on Pro-Am it's cause it don't fucking work. And every time you load in, you get you you get what, what do you end up getting? You end up getting like uh three people on the other team or two people on one team. And, and if a whole team uh load, I mean uh, damn, I'm sorry, not three on eight, three on five or whatever. So you know it is what it is, man. Like I said, I ran it long enough. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys realize what I'm saying. If something needs to be nerfed, y'all leave it down in the comments what you think is really overpowered. You guys are the ones that really play the game, right? You ain't a 55 overall that think everything overpowered because you haven't put in the time. You you like you guys are people that really, really, really actually play the game. So let me know what you guys think might be overpowered, might need some adjusting. I think the fade, I think difficult shots needs a little bit of adjusting because of the way that it lets you go. I do think that that limitless range did need adjusting, and I did feel like uh shots contested needed a little adjusting. But blast ass open shots, did those need adjusting? Fuck no. But anyway, like I said, man, y'all let me know. Um, let me know down in the comments what you say. Hey, and if a, if a post score get me on his hip, he should be able to dunk on me. But if you box somebody out, anybody can box anybody out, man. But anyway, man, I'm talking too much. Y'all let me know what needs to be uh what needs to be nerfed. Uh, what you guys think needs a little tuning, a little adjusting. And I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Town. Holla! 360 out this motherfucker. Damn, I done talked so damn long. About three minutes, actually. Shit.